Welcome to 3 Bike Mike. Here is an overview of my 2021 Yamaha Tenere 700. I'm finally finished accessorizing it. I've put everything on it that I want. However, we never finish accessorizing our motorcycles. We start off with the Puig Touring Windshield and the Puig Headlight Protector. Behind the windscreen is the Alt Rider Cowl Support, which keeps your headlight and your speedometer from vibrating while you go down the road. Next up are motorcycle camera mounts. That's for my Insta360 X3. And then we have another mount coming up that I put my GoPro Max 360 camera on. Every adventure bike needs bark busters to protect your hands, your levers, and your grips. There's the Insta360 X3 rear camera mount. Next we have our Cyclops LED turn signals front and rear and the rear function as brake lights. I really like the Cyclops LED lights in the rear and then they turn amber as turn signals. The heat bunker bars have this extra bar that protects the engine side cases and the water pump where I have GB racing covers. Another advantage of the heed crash bars is that they are mounted to the frame. They do not mount to the motor like the original equipment Yamaha crash bars do. The only drawback is they take 45 days to get to Texas from Australia where they are made. Next up is the Camel ADV gut guard or bash plate which protects the bottom of the motor, oil pan and exhaust. When it comes to the Camel ADV gut guard, there's several reasons why I chose this one. It has this extension that protects the rear shock linkage. There's also another bolt up inside here that holds the bash plate on in the rear. No other bash plate has such a bolt. Most other bash plates are only held on with four bolts. One right there and one right there and two on the other side, just like it. This bash plate also has this long slippery portion bolted to the bottom that allows the bike to slide over any obstacles that come in contact with the underbelly. The front ABS sensor lies under that protector right there. We also have axle sliders at the front of the bike in case we go down. Moving to the left side of the bike, let's have a look at a protector that covers the shift linkage. I've also found that the best mount for your phone is made by Quadlock. Moving to the rear of the bike, we have our Tusk Pannier Racks. On the top rear of the bike, we have the Tusk Top Rack. You just can't have enough protection for your motorcycle. We're coming up on the brake fluid reservoir for the rear brakes and the rear brake master cylinder cover. Sliding to the rear of the bike once again, we have a cover for the rear brake lines and the line running to the rear brake ABS sensor. We also have a protector for the rear swing arm in case the bike goes down and the exhaust crashes into the swing arm. While off-road riding, the swing arm is subject to chain lash with its up and down movement where the chain may come off of the rear sprocket so you need a chain guide also. Here we are looking at the Tusk hard aluminum box panniers. If you notice I paint the rear of the panniers yellow so it looks like I have a big yellow butt so that I can be seen better and I paint the sides red to match with the red color of the rest of the bike. One thing necessary for your aluminum box panniers are these web handles for the top lids because you're going to be taking them off and removing them and carrying them around. The final touch on my Tenere are the 8-ball air valve stem caps. The 8-ball in the motorcycle world means good luck and safe riding.